Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Napsit. So in this video I will uh, create a new Django project from scratch using only the terminal and uh, once the project is up and running I will uh, install an open source uh, team uh, that will uh, replace the default um, design provided by, by Django. The, uh, the Django team is, uh, is available uh, on a GitHub under the MIT license and also can be used and installed using pip. The design is uh, provided by uh, Creative Team, a well-known uh, web agency. And uh, the preview, uh, if we preview the, the, the design, uh, the, this kit comes with many pages uh, and the components that we can use in our project. So let's go. In order to follow up all the code, all the all the commands, I will uh, use this uh, tutorial uh, installed, uh, published on uh, Absit blog. So let's go. First thing is to is to open a terminal. Um, let's uh, create a new. A new uh, directory for the project. I will uh, uh, navigate inside the di directory and uh, open up the the directory using the VS Code, which is my my favorite um, code editor. Feel free to use uh, any code editor you you are comfortable with, like uh, Atom or uh, why not Vim. Okay, so the next command is to we need to create a virtual environment, uh, which is the preferred way when you need to install new new packages. Once the um, virtual environment is uh, is created and activated, <coughs> sorry, uh, we need to install Django. Uh, and uh, use the, the commands and the CLI provided by Django to create the product, uh, to create a new living project. So uh, the new thing is to call the Django admin uh, command with the start project argument. And uh, this will create the, the standard uh, Django project. This is the environment file and we have here the um, uh, super super basic um, uh, project core. The next thing is to migrate the database which will create the necessary tables that will help us to uh, interact and to use the um, application without issues and uh, of course the product can be started with uh, a run server command. Now, application is up and running. This is the default uh, Splash, default uh, UI served by Django. Uh, what's next? We need to create a super user in order to access the uh, uh, admin section. This section is reserved for, uh, for um, super users where you can man manage the uh, old users, uh, register the application, create groups, and do all other administrative things. So I will create us a new account. Okay, so account is created successfully. We can uh, using it and. Uh, uh, access the um, admin site. No, not test. Sorry. So now we're in. We can manage here the users. Of course, there is a single user here, and uh, we can add new users using this uh, minimal UI. Okay. Now uh, let's go back and uh, install the team uh, in case you, you want it, of course, uh, for most projects this uh, UI should be enough, but in case you want more and uh, 
you like this uh, software dashboard design uh, just uh, access the <coughs> GitHub repository and uh, install it uh, the steps are listed in the readme file so I was I will just follow up the, the instructions uh, the first thing is to uh, install using pip for the, the team once the team is successfully installed and uh, we can see this by um, watching the messages listed in the in the terminal the next thing is to update the uh, project settings with uh, with this this line you need to go to the core settings uh, section and uh, add this line in the install the apps sections section so uh, there is a, a small catch here you need to add this line before uh, django.contrib.admin because uh, otherwise the default UI is uh, um, is used so this is all let's uh, run the server and uh, check out the, the UI this is the old interface now the new interface looks super super nice we have here the <coughs> the new UI we can add new users the design follow up the uh, the design provided by creative team so it's, it's super nice uh, the dashboard has many many widgets and the components you can use it in your in your project there is also a, a persistent dark mode if we uh, um, refer to page the the dharma remains in place so guys uh, thanks for watching uh, let us know what you think in case uh, you have issues uh, with the team with this design and the workflow feel free to <coughs> access AppSeed and uh, chat with us uh, using the um, support coordinates we are replying to all the emails and also we have a super nice and supportive uh, Discord community with more than 1000 members so uh, it's quite easy to get assistance thanks again for watching Adrian here from Mapsid and uh, as always I wish you all a super super day bye guys